All right, so I've got a few pieces of gold here. I'm going to test and kind of show you guys what we expect to see. Um, we'll take this first piece. The first step of our testing is to uh, file down on the surface of each piece. I've already done that with these, so generally we'll just take the Dremel and just grind it a little bit. Usually it's about like this here. And I've done that with all of these already. So, we'll take our piece here, put a little drop of acid on there. As you can see, it's foaming up really green right there. And that's because the um, copper is reacting with the nitric acid. Um, the nitric is eating away the copper, and that's what that green color is there that's copper. So we'll take our little locket here. We'll also put a drop of acid on there. Nope, same story with this one as well. So we'll put that in the water as well. Okay, our next two pieces, they are this one here is marked 10 carat. This one here is marked 14 carat. So what we do is I'll put some acid in here. I've actually filled this up a little bit more than I normally would. Uh, just to give you a better um, understanding and a better view of kind of what happens when we put this in the acid. So gold is non-reactive to nitric acid, but the base metals that the gold are alloyed with, each piece here, um, they're actually alloyed with base metals like copper. So the copper is reactive, and even though it's alloyed with the gold, it is just very slowly reactive now. And we'll come back in a few minutes and I'll kind of show you um, the difference between the 10 carat and the 14 carat. Alright, so it's been about 5 or 10 minutes. Uh, so I'll go ahead and show you the difference between the 10 carat and the 14 carat here. We'll get it rinsed off a bit. Alright, so this is the 10 carat. You can see how it's a real dark color. And that's because the acid has started eating away at the the base metal that's alloyed with the gold, resulting in that dark brownish color there. So that's how we know that that's 10 carat. The next one here, give it a rinse first. This one is 14 carat. And you can see maybe right here there's a little bit of discoloration, it's a little lightly stained. And that's a typical characteristic of 14 carat. And the reason it doesn't stain quite as much as the 10 carat is because there's more gold. Um, the 10 carat, um, plum 10 carat has 41.7% gold, whereas 14 carat has 58.5% gold. So it's quite a big difference, and you can tell the difference just by the way the acid reacts with it. If we were testing an 18 carat piece as well, it would just stay a really bright yellow color. So that's the video for today and thanks for watching.